Hello everyone to the 15th episode of Let's Play Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Here we are at the beautiful Yakumo village ready to start our new quest, which is going to be one of my favorite monsters, Nargakuga, aka Nargakuruga, which is its Japanese name. Skip. Now, the Nargakuga is one of my favorite monsters in the entire Monster Hunter series. I find him really funny to fight and we always manage to hop around just doing things. He's actually a very interesting monster, although a bit unfair. Not as unfair as the Tigrix though. Now for my ar drinking skills and my health and stuff, um, once again I've upgraded the hot spring so it now gives me 140 health. As for the armor it's made of uh, a rangro, it's called like this but uh, now I don't remember the name. It was the armadillo guy. So it gives me if I plus two heat cancel and fire resist. The two bottom are, are useless. I only have this armor for the if I plus two, which is literally the best skill one can have when facing an Arga. Now let's just see if I can find them. Mm -hmm. The Nar the Narga actually has two main weaknesses. He he's very weak to both of them. They are fire and lightning. Although he's slight, ah, here we go. He's slightly weaker to fire, I think. And here we go. His favorite prey, the Kelby. I really love its eyes, the way they glow. Surprise! There ain't no running away. Funny thing is when you fight an Arga, sometimes it feels like it's just playing with you. Oh, I hope he doesn't stay there. Just remember to do this, keep trying to do this. My weapon actually is very powerful and has a stupid the a very stupid high uh, sharpness. Okay, this is what I want my dodge skill for. Also for this. It's it's minor attack and it's very angry, it already did it on me. No. Well, that's his new move. Make sure you evade it. Ah, jump too soon. That's the main mistake you can do when you have evade. It's also the main mistake people do when they fart Nar Nargus, which is literally to jump too soon. Uh, evade Pursue is actually a very good skill. It allows us to evade most of his attacks when you're jumping out of reach, especially his tail move, not this one. One where he just throws his tail around and I got hit now. Whoa. Well, this armor doesn't have any defense, but still. I'll, I haven't upgraded this armor a lot, haven't used any. Oh, well, jump. Ah, oh, thought I was hit by there a minute, moment ago. Come on. Something really frustrating when you use cooking plus two, then you stop using it. You can get really frustrating and start feeling everything just slowing down. Oh, probably should have jumped sooner on that one. You, never, you can never know when it comes. Ah, jump too soon again. This really hurts a lot. Good kitty. Nice. There you go, a tail jump. Ah, n was, I was too close to the tail to this one. See? Basic. I'm gonna see if I can get. Ah, fail. Whoa! Is this, was that a tree or a rock? Can you see it? Never jump too soon. That's the main mistake you can do. Now let me just show you how to get his shiny. It's actually something most people don't know how to do. F. Okay, this one will fail. Three, two, one. Okay, first part's done. I need to wait. Now. Wait, where's my shiny? 
This should give me a shiny. Let me just paint him. This guy runs away. He's really hard to track down. Okay. No, don't know how I got hit back there. Ah, not too soon this time. Make sure you aim for its tail when it's angry. I'm not sure if it deals a lot of damage. It probably deals less damage than the head, but... Ah, so he did drop it shiny. Just can see it. No, 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 no. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you once more. Okay, now let's see what is he setting. Probably don't really need to sharpen this. Which has really a stupid amount of sharpness for a weapon. Really, the Yakumo, like a very high upgrade of the first one. It was actually pretty easy to get. Just required a couple of dragonite stones from the volcano, and other than that, pretty easy. There's that's also something you can do. Okay, this time there. No. Ah, he's not mad. Ah, fail. Ooh, another shiny. That that's yell he makes, the growl, I mean, is actually pretty special. Uh, it's like the T-Rex, which is very high pitched, and but but it only has a very limited range, so there's really little chance you can get hit by it. No. Not getting hit by that one. And for the tail, and for the tail, and for the tail. Ah! No, don't jump right away. Remember that. And only do this if you have a play plus two. For example, the tail evades, which I, which I do pretty often. They're only manageable if you have evade plus one. Actually, they're they're doable if you have very but very good timing I haven't managed to do it once or twice or thrice but still it's very hard to do so you shouldn't even try it my armor my favorite armor actually monster on the freedom knight was the narga which had evade plus two and evade distance up check a very good combination exactly Ah, damn it. He's no longer in rage. Come on. Wanna play some more? Come play with me. That's it. You can actually get very good openings like this. Whoa. Ah, I hate his wings. Ah, where is heading this time? I'm gonna take this time, sharpen it. I'm gonna lose its sharpness soon enough. Okay, easy enough. Let's go after him. Don't really want to spend too much time on this video. Come here, little kitty. Ah, n no gosh. Yay! See if I can get this to yellow. Yellow! <laughs> no idea how I did that one. Ah! She's in rage now. I think you can actually, yeah, flash him while he's doing that. I really just want to hit him in the tail. It's something very hard to do, because his tail can only be cut while it's in rage mode. Shouldn't really take 
that much damage to it. Okay, make sure you read that one. Here we go. What's wrong, kitty? Someone got your tail. Ouch. There it goes, dragging along. As we find his arms a bit more unbreakable than before. Before they were already very hard to break, now it's nearly impossible. Now, where are you heading? This way. Area 5. Yeah, already in the shortest way there. Mm. Okay, because you're only just do that so the bar would stay full instead of depleting. Thank you, Kitty. Now, come on, let's finish this. Please don't tell me you're up there. Yeah, you are. Come down here and face me like a man. Where's my taunt? Here we go. Come here. Mm. Get down from there. That's it. When you're sleeping around, when it's time to fight. Okay. First time I get hit by that one. Terrible miss there. Uh, this side, whenever he aims, you make sure you look at the arm that's in front and go to the other one. Get it? That's how you know where he's jumping next. No, 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 get away, get away. See? Not that big of a range, is it? Okay, still okay in my life. Whenever he does free jumps, he always does that, which gives you a small opening for attacks. <whistles> now you're done. Oh, guess I'm done. That's just not fair, you know. Again, not fair. Leave <laughs> me alone. What's wrong? Don't have enough tail. That's it. Ah, stupid wing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And we're done here. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that, guys. Little Narga. Only I wish I could have bro broken his cutting wings. They're really harder. As you can see, I, it, I actually needed the full gosh or blue sharpness to actually hit them. So that's why I bounced back so many times. Well, hope you enjoy, folks. Bye now.